Rain drums on the roof, slides down the window pane. The clock ticks like heavy footsteps on the stair, while outside a morning dove makes its plaintive call. Bound by four walls of her house, what does she do in times of privation but paint? Birds, butterflies and flowers, colors, gladdening mirrors. What she gives is tangibility and vigor, daring us to see beyond the ordinary, to see the pulse of creation. Doors, stove, bread boxes, pots and pans. The stairway softened by blue flowers in black pots. Thank you. Uh, my second poem is an older poem um, about, uh, I, I would say it's a love poem, uh, how people um, change and uh, as they grow older together. And it's called Crossing. Once I wandered the familiar map of you, traced the length of bone beneath skin so pale, I thought you would disappear. I remember damp earth on your hands when we dug potatoes in August, harvesting the taste of summer for winter. Now the rattle in your throat goes on and on, a train set to jump the tracks. Are we at a crossing then? Perhaps in this very room, this station, you will vanish like Muldoon's Brownlee. And I will be left to wonder why you left and where why you have gone. 